What is going on guys? So today we finally finished it. <laughs> I'm covered in poo, I'm covered in dirt, but that's okay because we put the chickens in the chicken coop. Now, <clears throat> we went a little bit overkill. There's some quite thick mesh all the way around. Uh, most of it's been welded, not very greatly, so don't check them out. Um, we put up the board so the chickens can't stick their heads out and become headless because my little dog, Coda, is, <laughs> is not going to leave these guys alone forever. So um, hopefully he gets used to them. We'll go around the other side. So yeah, hopefully he gets used to it. Although we've got animals everywhere, we have never really had animals that move and like we this. And we never had a chicken, so now we had a chicken egg. And we had we a chicken egg the it. other day, and we did eat it, yeah. Let's get in here. Are you okay, Dad? So, this is the inside of the chicken coop. Um, there's the mesh here. You can't really tell from here, but it, it makes a huge difference in heat, and there's another layer of it on the roof. There's also um, mesh underneath it as well. So, no cats are getting in here, no... Uh, Birds no are getting dogs. out. Nothing's getting out of here. No dogs. Definitely no dogs. So that's what this is. This is the nesting box is under here. So there's the three nesting boxes. And it goes through uh, into the coop area, which is in here. So this is the chicken coop. Try not to step on any chickens. There's a little roost in here, which is just for now, because um, we were sort of rushing. Hello, I said, chill. So there's the little roost in here, which is just a tiny little milk crate and some things, yeah, whatever. But there's the three boxes there. Uh, that's the door there. So they come in and all of this is blocked off. It's got insulation on the roof, just one strip. I want to see how it goes, whether or not it breathes. And then obviously you can see sunlight out there. So this is quite, um, quite airy in here. Airy, 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 aerated. <laughs> and then oh, I'll close this. Uh, then there's a little bit of tin sheet here. So this is covered as well. We will have our feeders come through here. Um, down there and then this will be under sheet roof so there's the wall back here which is limestone the wall back there which is limestone and to get into the coop and the nesting boxes we come around here and the chickens go up the stairs and in through that little door just there and they have a little protective railing so they can't fall through that's the door there though so yeah, I will admit it was incredibly hard, but what you got to realize is the only thing that's new in here um, is this little bit of framing. There's uh, that piece, that piece down there, um, this and that. All of this is recycled. All of that's recycled. The mesh is recycled. The um, mesh up here was recycled. Most of this stuff came from bulk rubbish. Uh, which I have no shame in admitting. I have picked up so much stuff in bulk rubbish. And um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't get what the difference between that. Like I understand some people are quite dirty about it and make a lot of mess and they go through like rummaging through clothes and stuff like that. I'm not quite like that. Like if I see something big that I want, I'll take it. All the crates, all of that, well, most of these crates came from bulk rubbish. All the, um, all the big mesh, came from bulk rubbish, this came from bulk rubbish, this mesh here, that mesh, that mesh. Uh, the wood is all, everything. These legs for the roof, they were posts in the ground for a fence that I took out. Um, all of these, oh, and the hinges. We brought the hinges. 
Um, the sheeting came off a shed that I helped take apart. Um, oh, and the, the wire, we paid for that, and the screws, but I had the screws already left over from doing the uh, big shed. But a lot of people <laughs> seem to think that, uh, you know, it was a bit overkill. But this is the reason why this coop is going to be bulletproof. Because this Muppet will not leave him alone. Coda. Oi. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, look, it's flapping. Get out of here. Get. Yeah, it was incredibly hard to make this. Because... Um, Oh, and the big screws up here. These big screws, uh, we brought a couple of them. So all in all, we probably spent about 50 bucks on this, um, and the rest of it's been time. So this is huge, like it's not little, um, and we got all the dirt from our own backyard, all of the wood, they're just little bits of, uh, little bits of pallets, and then the big bit of wood there, I don't even know where I picked that up, so. Yeah. Oh, we also put a little bit of insulation on the bottom there just to add extra insulation. And the insulation, you guessed it, it also came off bulk rubbish. So yeah, it was difficult. I tried saying this like six times, uh, but that is because we were recycling stuff. Um, like the roof was already made, the roof was for an old pump house. Um, well, it was over somebody's bore and um, they were getting rid of that. So I picked that up ages ago and it's just been floating around. The original idea was to make a... Um, dog house? Yeah, it was to make a dog house. Um, so yeah, that's not the original capping on the top. I couldn't find it. So we just put that red stuff up there and it seems to work well. It doesn't look the nicest up there, but whatever. It'll be all right. It works for what we, we need it for and it's very aerated in there. So um, yeah. We learned a lot. Um, it was incredibly hard to make, but I think the chickens are digging it at the moment. And um, we'll see how it all goes and how it works. We're using uh, mini hemp on the inside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me open this. We're using, ooh, we're using mini hemp on the inside in there. And then um, we'll also be using horse pallets, but I'll go over that in a later video. When we, um, when we work out, like this is all experimental. It's been something in the making for a while, um, but we, we didn't really want to go making a chicken coop while we had all the other projects uh, going. But with the uh, recent events and the fact that the lady was taking down her ad, we just decided that we'd do it now and spend the next couple of days smashing through it and this is where we've gotten. So I'm going to throw some photos up now. And um, I, I didn't do too much filming during it, but whatever filming I did, I'll throw that up now. I hope you guys enjoyed 
this whole thing about getting chickens. Um, I'll do some more detailed videos if anyone wants any more detailed videos about it. I mean, not super detailed because I'm not very good at that yet, but we'll get there, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy, stay awesome, and remember, you can't fail if you try. See Bye. you later.